I'm George Banky, and uh, this is a new chassis. It's uh, designed and built specifically for Valdetta. Um, this one is a little different than most. Uh, there's going to be improvements to come. Uh, it's going to come with a bag rider coming up. Uh, the, the ergo of it is all straight up pretty simple. You can adjust it all at will, just very simply. Uh, if you're going to shoot prone, we like to uh, get this uh, recoil pad up so it fits in the, in your pocket all the way. It's not just hitting you in the top of your, your chest. It also has uh, the ability to tilt the pad to the right or the left. Uh, and when you get on the bench like this, you might not want to have it as high, so you just can lower it as high or low as you want it. It's, it's an instant thing, and uh, it works perfect. It's been proven over a period of time. Uh, then the back end goes up and down uh, for your bag, like so. And you just put it where you want it. So you don't have to run a stack of bags to get right. You can just run it all on one bag. Now the newer ones will have a, a push button thing that um, allows it to uh, go click, 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 and it will be real stable. Um, how the Valdata chassis is different, it's going to come with a carbon front end. The carbon actually saves you if, if you're weight conscious and you're going to carry this thing around like a field grade gun, um, it, uh, it's going to save you about a pound in the front end. If you're going to be a PRS competitor, uh, this thing is ideal. These, these uh, carbon front ends will come in different lengths. Um, it allows you to put an extra heavy barrel on there. If you take a pound out of, the, out of your, um, your front end, your, your foregrip here, you can um, put the weight in having a good heavy barrel. And um, I know that uh, the PRS guys like to have a little bit more weight. Uh, of course, we've got the Valdetta bipod. It's got to be the stiffest, strongest bipod in the industry. It uh, rotates. It rotates with the center pivot being between the scope uh, and the barrel, and that's the way the the pivot is set up. Um, what lengths are the two going to be available in? Uh, right now, these this one is about 20 inches. Uh, this is a 26 inch barrel. Um, most of the um, uh, PRS shooters are probably going to run, oh, uh, I guess 26 to 22. Uh, a lot of hunters are going to want to run 22, whatever. So we'll, we'll have a, a 16 inch. They, they'll drop back that far. 19s and 16s. These, these are common lengths uh, for these things. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You'll be able to get it with uh, the standard uh, magazines that are available and you'll be able to get it in fives and and tens and you know they're simple simple deal you can have it uh, this one's set up for Remington uh, clones uh, they'll be built for Otikas, uh, Savages and most of the general uh, uh, rifle. One thing I'd like to point out here is uh, this is a center line rifle and what I mean by that is uh, your energy is going to travel straight back to the center of your shoulder and so by doing this we reduce as much of the the fulcrum as possible. One thing I'd like to point out here is uh, this is a center line rifle and what I mean by that is uh, your energy is going to travel straight back to the center of your shoulder. And so by doing this, we reduce as much of the, the fulcrum as possible. Most of the rifles that run the pads down here like so have basically a built-in fulcrum. In other words, if especially, uh, it shows up especially on larger caliber rifles. And what happens is when you've got these larger caliber rifles and you've got your energy trying to go in a straight line, 
and, and and if it's not in a straight line, in other words, if it's if it's coming and it's going to come down like so because your recoil pad is down here, this is a fulcrum. So what it means is from minute one, when you have a chassis like that, from minute one, you have a fulcrum built in that creates muzzle hop. It's got muzzle hop built into it from the minute you buy the rifle. And then what you have to have is something that counteracts it. So we just don't see any point in building it in there to start with. Uh, if you ever look at an M60 machine gun shot from the shoulder, uh, they're straight down the middle and there's no muzzle hop. It's pretty simple. It's not a, a hard thing. And this, this concept was first created in the 14th century, but the centerline concept has only just now come out, and the reason that it's come out is because we put scopes on rifles. We're no longer looking at iron sights. We've got scopes to look through now. So that's allowed us to do a little different engineering in the rifle. And all the Valdatas will come like that. I like the carbon. It feels good, it shoots good, small uh, for smaller calibers, and it, it, it's ideal. It work, I use it on my 338, it works good there too. This is one of the new IOR. Yeah, this is a 3 to 25 by 56. Uh, um, I've just used it, I've gone through it, and a little compact scope like this, this is the finest scope like this I've ever seen. The zero stop is so simple and, and it, it, this thing has a lock when it when you set it you can you can move the top up and down to lock it you can loosen it set your zero stop where you want it tighten it and and go it's absolutely the quickest easiest one in the industry without a doubt. The rest of it is a straightforward just clean, easy to use. The clarity of the glass is as good as there is. It has 45 mils of dial up, up and down from top to bottom. Uh, one thing I like is the clicks are just so solid. They are just, you, you feel it. There's no, there's no question. You're not questioning whether you clicked it two or three times or not. It's, it's dead, dead solid. It's got to be one of the best scopes, if not the best scope in the industry at the moment, especially for a, a compact scope like that. It's really clean. It's a 56 objective and a 40 tube, 40 main tube. This particular scope is a first focal plane, mil mil. Uh, it gives you the absolute brightest image that, that you can have. Uh, the field of view on the thing is huge. You really need to have a look at these if you hadn't had a look at one of them. Uh, the, you, can, you can find out about it from uh, Val Data. Uh, Val, it, he'll be happy to help you out, uh, but these are brand new. It's got to be one of the most advanced, best, newest scopes in the industry, period. I challenge anybody's scope. You can put it up there and uh, you're going to have a hard time beating this baby.